Ooh, wee, this is serious. I'm not just talking about the virus, corona, whatever, 19, or whatever, the rona being serious. I'm talking about, look, this, you remember, I'm reading from the book, actually, uh, how Trump stole 2020, right? Uh, my man, Greg Powers. Got comics by Ted Robb. Anyway, don't worry. But I'm, I'm doing this chapter here. Emergency alert, right? Virus votes for Trump. See that emergency virus votes for Trump. Now, as you know, let me let me read a little bit to you right here. I'm writing this from quarantine. You know, he's being he's being sheltered. He's writing this right. So I get it. We must all vote by mail, or we die. There may be no choice. This is this is great style. You know, he'd be saying stuff like that. But here's what the Go Postal crowd doesn't tell you. In 2016, I'm not going to say the number. I'm just going to round throw for you. Half a million uh, mail-in ballots, over half the over, that's over half a million, were simply rejected, not counted. That's official from the EAC. What's the EAC? Electoral Administration Commission. I don't know what EAC is. But that's just the tip of the ballot berg of uncounted mail-in votes. Hold on to your seats for this one. You ready? Okay. The, MI, uh, the MIT, that would be the uh, Massachusetts Institute of Technology. I know that because uh, uh, and, uh, uh, Dennis, you know, my second wife's you know, second son, she went, he went to MIT. Smart, smart kid. Say it a little bit, because when he was in junior high school, they tried to push him into sports. This boy over here, so I went to the I smacked that administrator all around. They left the coach. You know how they push all the black boys into sports? Here's <laughs> who say get of age, you know? Anyway, back to the point. Um, the MIT study, losing votes by mail, puts the total loss of mail-in votes at the break, at the after breathtaking 22%. Uh, um, move to 80% mail-in votes and 25 million will lose their vote. I don't know what she means by that. Let me just keep on going. I got these numbers. I got to digest this stuff. I'm a, I, you know, I, I don't write the numbers right. Okay, never mind. Let's just go on. And, and not just anyone's mail-in ballots were dumped in the electoral trash can. Overwhelmingly, those junked in ballots Mailed by poorer, younger, and unwhite Americans. That's see, here's why I don't particularly agree with, with Drake, Greg Palace and all these other people that's doing their thing. They talk and be talking and stuff like that. They keep on, folks. I know it's here because you know, kind of they, they listen to NPR all the time. Please, you know, and it's almost like oh, let's just get the St. Louis NPR affiliated station. They have, I guess there's a lot of black people around. I have no idea. But you know, the airwaves will go all a bunch of places, right? And here's what they be, you need nothing but black things on there and, and whatever things on there. And I know it's probably, they probably agitates white people to no end. <laughs> they hear black stuff all the time. Blackity, black, 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 blackity, black, black, black. <laughs> Speaking of my black, black, black mask, you know. So this was like a backlash. They'd be saying, oh, black people, oh, they're going to take because it's, it's, it's be disproportionately reported on. Let's put it that way, you know. But here's here's the thing. You know, most of the white people, let me do it. Dave Chappelle did this joke when the last 2016 election. He was online. And he said, yeah, cause, well, these, you know, these these poor white people, you know, they said, hey, you're going to vote for Trump. Trump's our man. He blah, 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 blah. And Dave, Dave was going like, He's going to do more for me than he's going to do for them because of Dave's tax bracket. You see what I'm saying? I asked, I asked my cat here. I asked the same question. I said, what did Donald Trump ever do against you? You know, you know, because he didn't have a tax bracket too. The kids are like, you're a black man. You can't ask me that question. I said, yeah, I could ask anybody that question. I want to know what did Donald Trump ever do against you? I know what Joe Biden then did against me, but I ain't going to get into that right now. In fact, that's the question I asked. Let me, let me go back to the point. The point I'm trying to make is that all black people, all, I don't even say black people, 
all downtrodden people should be ignoring everything that the Trump man is saying. We need to focus on what we're going to get. Because what's happened here, let me tell you, let me let me go on a little bit around here, you know. Because I read this someplace. Uh, oh, maybe that was the last chapter. Oh, yeah, that was the last chapter. Okay. That was that's early on. Let me tell you what the deal is here. This is what we got to vote down ballot. Okay. It's very simple. The, 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 uh, whatever, who, Lieutenant General, the, 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 whatever, of, of Georgia, the, the guy that wrote that, that, that um, ran against Stacey Abrams for the governorship and he won, right? Well, whatever his thing was, Attorney General, whoever he was, right? Him, the, the Attorney General of Florida, when when they won in 2000, now 2000, I saw that one, that was, they, they, were, they thugged them way into there. You know, you could see operatives that was operating in like the Nixon campaign, <laughs> Back there. okay, maybe not as far back as Nixon. And when they was counting those chats, it was like, yo, you most people, and you could see some people in dress and suit and ties, whatever they, that they, you know, dug in their way up there like that. They, they wasn't from Florida. They were from up with the Democrat, the rather Republican kind of thing, beating on them. The Democrats, them kinds of bunch of whistles. They, 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 they get thugged either, either way. That emboldened them because I think every election after them, they kept on thugging. They kept it become more thuggy, more thuggy, and more thuggy. Then they finally got you know the gangster thug of them all raised by gangster. You know we talk about the Duff man. You know Duff man. He was like you know he was like their ultimate thug. They said, hey, while while they while, while they thugging them, we get this wussy, this 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 wussy. I said I I said he a wussy. That wussy. That 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 African wussy, you know what I mean? You know, the smiley guy, like that. We get him, they get they get the thug, you know, they get the gangsters keep on going. But what happened in Florida? When, 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 you know, what did it have, when they stole it from Gore again? Well, it was the attorney general, whoever, her electoral thing, she had stuff hidden. And Greg Pounce talked about, wait a second, man, let me actually go back to that thing because y'all, y'all just don't understand, you know, let me, like, Oh, man, where is this thing at? Where is this thing at? Oh, I should have, I should have, I didn't, uh, I didn't highlight it. Mm, mm, mm. That's the Georgians, you know. Look, take, just take it from me. Don't take it from me. I'll find it someplace. Vaporized votes. No, no, I didn't get to that part yet. Well, what she did was, you know, he, uh, um, uh, with at least two dozen other states, uh, uh, I'm rushing the Georgia Fry, uh, their, to Georgia Fry their list. The total number of voters wrongly removed would hit as many, uh, many millions by November 2020. In other words, it's Georgia system. The, um, the, these, let me go back to the Georgia system. Swing states that would decide the 2020 elections, Ohio, North Carolina, Wisconsin, had done a kept job on the voters. Uh, Purge media was moving through GOP states like poop to a goose. <laughs> that's a that's a that's a whole thing about France. I want to get to that. By mid twenty twenty, leading into the presidential race, the, the the urge to purge took over. Ohio purged almost a half a million people. North Carolina purged over a half a million people. Arizona purged to like a quarter of a million people. Right? Wisconsin purged. Uh, well let's say a quarter of a million people also, and so on it goes. So what's happening is people are getting purged, have been purged already from, like, like if you have the name, like a common name like Williams, that's a black name like that, that you just get knocked off the rolls like that. So what I'm trying to say, voting down ballot is very important. Even if you don't know why, because those attorney generals, those people, those whether the Republican or Democrat, it doesn't matter. We need to get progressive people in there. We took when they say down ballot, we got to get rid of all these sheriffs that, that be hassling you, these judges that be putting you in jail. That's what's important. This this whole thing, the the, the, the you know, top of the ballot. Do it if you want, but I say deny, especially in states. If you're in a state that's not a swing state, then you definitely should not be voting up up ballot because what you do, if you don't vote up ballot, then they have to do the electoral college when they get to these other things. Then they'll see that neither the 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 drunk man or the Biden, the bitterman, 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 you know, yeah, the slave from traditional slave auctions, that boy. They will neither one of them will have the popular vote. That's what I'm looking for. 
neither one of them will have the popular vote. So when they get into office, they can't say, well, we have a mandate for you. No, then we say, hey, ain't nobody voted for you. Electoral conscious things you all set up a long time. That's what voted for you. And all those purging of the things, that's what does it. Anyway, I'm sorry. I rammed on a long bit longer than I should. I think I got the dog just came down. I got to go take the dog out. Because, you know, this is Sunday. We go for a long walk. We'd be out like four hours. I know. She, she just ready. Okay, so, yo, look, take it from me. T. From the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet. Letting you know what I, I found out and I suspected anyway. 